and the media seem to be making this world a smaller place, and they are bringing us closer together in many ways. Still, culture will never disappear. Hello, my name is Rana Najm and I'm author of When in the Arab World, an insider's guide to living and working with Arab culture. Culturalists and sociologists have likened culture to either an iceberg or, like a hippo when in the water, the larger mass of its body is hidden underneath the surface. And culture is exactly like that. It is in that hidden area where all the interesting things lie. Now, in order for me to be culturally intelligent or aware, I must first start with an honest look inside myself to look at those beliefs and values that color the way that I see the world and how I determine what is appropriate and what is not. Only then I'm able to anticipate other people's behavior, to correctly interpret that culturally motivated behavior, and then adjust my own actions to suit the situation that I'm in. Now, that does not mean that I not must shed my skin or go native or give up my beliefs and values in order to fit in. No, just like the chameleon, I stay true to my DNA, but I just adjust the externals to suit the situation. My objective is to communicate respect to the, to the people that I'm with. Now, believe me, this is not easy. I've been doing this for quite a while now, but I still find myself going back to my default setting. Our brains play tricks on us. Because of fear and frustration, we want to go back to the familiar. And so we end up pigeonholing people, putting them in pigeonholes and judging them in order to make a life for us more easy and simple. I experienced this firsthand uh, when I was working with CNN way back when I was working with CNN during the first Gulf War as a reporter. Daily we were met with issues of simple misinterpretations or misconceptions based on cultural beliefs and values. My colleagues back then took a lot of things for granted about what they thought were universal concepts of what normal or right looked like. It was as if we were looking at one of those images, the pictures that had more than one image in them. I was seeing one image and they couldn't understand what I was talking about while they were seeing another image and I couldn't quite understand what they were saying. It ended up with a lot of um, frustration and a lot of misunderstandings. And in the end, I actually took a life-changing decision because of that. Never forget that we don't deal with cultures, we deal with people. And all of things, the things that we're going to talk about are simple guidelines to help us understand how culture affects our behavior. This is not another set of stereotypes and it's not a way to pigeonhole people and put them in boxes. Remember, we deal with people, not cultures, and every individual must be treated and respected as an individual. Tell me, have you had an experience where you took a major decision based on some cultural misunderstanding? I would love to hear from you. Thank you for listening. Salam.